In this video, we take you to one of the most famous of the Greek islands, Santorini. Santorini is a beautiful place to vacation and to explore the Greek culture. Of course, it's also known for its fantastic nightlife. After Santorini, we headed back to the boat to continue sailing. We rented a few rooms at El Verano Suites on Airbnb. Not a bad view to wake up to here. Cooked breakfast, had lunch, or breakfast right out here. Uh, I mean, that's nice, huh? And it's kind of cool. They actually supply you with all the stuff for breakfast. So they, bring, they have eggs, toast, and all that kind of stuff uh, that's included with your charge here. And they even brought us like some fresh tomatoes they got from their garden. And yeah, they're really, really nice here. And they have fresh fruit on the table and home cooked or home, homemade uh, cookies and stuff. Kind of cool, El Verano. They're not a sponsor or anything. We're paying for this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Check them out. I don't really know what I was expecting of Santorini, but it truly is one of the most beautiful islands I've ever been to. The sheer cliffs of the volcano ring the caldera. It's quite a sight with all the white buildings perched on the cliffside. Airbnb was built right into the cliffside. Well, the plan for the day, you're kind of looking at it so far. Hang out by the pool. What do you think? Nice view for the pool? Beautiful view. So yeah. Beautiful. She's working on her tan. Trying to get rid of the paleness. Telling us the uh, English pale. <laughs> but you say you get pretty dark though, right? Yeah, I hope so. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Plan for the day, we're going to hang out here till a little afternoon or so. Uh, maybe dump in the pool when we get too hot. And then we're going to go see some ancient ruins, find a place on the for, with a nice view for lunch. Come back here, happy hour in the pool. And then we've got uh, reservations at this really nice restaurant uh, with like an amazing view of the uh, caldera for the volcano and everything. It'll be really nice. You'll like it. Super excited. You're excited? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Let's enjoy the pool a little bit. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. Because if you're in a hurry. All right. The water could be slightly warmer. It's very cold. <laughs> you get used to it after a little bit. But it's nice view, though. Beautiful view. Can't get over the view. Yeah, it's going to be much better. So now we are going to go see some sites of, uh, well, ancient stuff here in Greece. I don't know. We'll go explore, <laughs> find something to do. You ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. If you're going to visit Santorini, why not rent a convertible? It was about a 30 minute drive from our Airbnb to the Greek ruins of Akrotiri. Don't know much about it, but this is the ancient city of Akrotiri. I think I guess so, I don't know. Tickets are 12 euro a piece. Akrotiri was inhabited until the 16th century BC when a volcanic eruption covered the city in ash. The site was excavated in 1967. There's evidence of people living here you know, before 17 BC, but that's when the big volcano erupted and destroyed most of it. Volcano erupted in 1700 BC that uh, you know it covered most of that. That's why it's all still there. 
uh, find a cafe, get some uh, lunch and uh, an adult Perfect. beverage. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It's hot out here too. It was a short walk down to the beach where there were lots of cafes. First day. Yamas. Yamas. All right. How was your day seeing the sights around uh, Santorini? Amazing. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's a pretty unique island. Mm -hmm. Just the, the elevation change and all that. I guess that's all the volcano and stuff. But uh, so now we are going to a pretty nice dinner. Um, like it's, it's like on one of those like white cliffs hanging over. You see the caldera and all that. Should be pretty beautiful. Can't wait. All right. I need and some good food. We got a cab for this one too, because there, <laughs> there might be some cocktails involved. Maybe. All right. Uh, let's go. Remarkably, there was no traffic as we headed into the town of Thera. The busy town full of shops and restaurants is perched right on the cliff edge. Crowds tend to gather here for the beautiful sunsets. All right, well, Yamas. We had a prime table to watch the sunset. And then of course enjoy a fantastic meal. All right, well we survived a night out in uh, Santorini. How was it? Uh, not too hectic. Not too hectic. <laughs> uh, we weren't out too late. About midnight or so we came back. I'd say yeah. But uh, there were a few cocktails had. But <laughs> nice little place to uh, hang out for the hangover though, huh? Beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. So plan for the day. Uh, we need to leave here in about an hour and head to the ferry terminal and take the ferry back to Kufanisi um, and uh, get on the boat. You ready? You go see the boat? Super excited. All right. Santorini is a beautiful place and I'm glad we made the trip. Greece has a very large ferry network connecting all the islands and it was about a two hour trip for us back to Kufanisi. All right, so first thoughts on the boat. What do you think? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you like yeah, it? Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, it was a little, you got here like at the hottest time of the day though. It was so. really hot, I had to take a nap. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. now. <laughs> I smell diesel out there, I think somebody's pumping diesel. But all right, so now there is a tradition on a boat that you put your own flag up uh, on like on one of the halyards there. Yeah, we go. And so I've already got my American flag up. So the way it is, you run your country registration code off the back. So I've got a Polish flag on the back because the boat is registered in Poland. And then you have your cruising flag, which would be the country you're in checked into. You put that on the starboard side of the mast. So I've got the Greek flag up there. And on the port side is where you put your crew flags, right? So I've got an American flag up there for myself. And we've got a British flag right here. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Unfortunately, I only have like a big one. So it'll be a little bit bigger than it needs to be. <laughs> no, it needs to be big. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, we'll go upstairs and put it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Up over here. There you go. All right, so the tradition is that you do it in alphabetical order. So, United Kingdom is, I guess, before United States. There we go. So, you'll put yours <laughs> on top there. So All right, go ahead and just pull it up. Well, uh, I've been here in Kupanisa for like, well, the boat's been here for like more than a week. Mm -hmm. But you, it's your first night here. Just arrived. So uh, let's go to town and have some drinks and buy some dinner. Are you ready? We were moored on the town quay, which was only 18 euro a night, including power and water. Don't fall.
From there, it's a short walk up to the center of town. The beautiful narrow streets are really picturesque, and there's plenty of small cafes to duck in and have a drink. All right, we are now off to dinner. Let's go. <laughs> the wind had finally calmed down, so all the open air cafes were very busy. After dinner, we headed to one of my favorite bars on the island, Navajos. Bartender, who's also the owner, knows how to make a really great cocktail. Cheers, cheers. 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 So if you're going to come here, come to this bar and have one of these. It's great. And uh, welcome George, by the way. You okay to be on this? Yeah, of course. George is one of the most premier painters in the world, I'm telling you. <laughs> you had to check his stuff out. Uh, I'm going to link to his Instagram or whatever kind of social media you have. It sounds popping up, but yeah. Cool. Cheers. Guys, cheers. 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 Yama. Thank you. Yama. All right. I stayed in Kupanisi about a week in total and it's one of my favorite places in Greece. If you're ever headed to Greece, I'd recommend you check it out. If you're enjoying the videos, it'd really help us out if you click that like button and make sure you're subscribed. And of course, it's our patrons that make this channel possible. They got early access to this video and access to the uncut, unedited version. <laughs>